All right, last one, CAA. Now, this is a bracket. Yes, yes. Oh, man. Who the fuck knows what the fuck to do here? Oh, my I think God. you're Charleston. You hate the fact you're getting Wilmington. Yeah. I mean, so YouTube.com slash the college experience. Let me rattle off these odds as I analyze the bracket. Uh, Real quick, in Washington, D.C., too. Yes, yes. It, it is now being played in Washington, D.C. I think it's the second or third year. Why am I not seeing fucking odds on that? Uh, check. It's not on DK. Okay. This is just like the NEC last night, I think. Uh, and you got. I uh, went to bed. Can, rat, rattle, can you rattle that off? Yeah, give me a second to pull it up. Yeah, okay. I can't find it because uh, what's it? Uh, Hampton and Bill and Mary are. Oh, uh, you got some in Virginia, Virginia schools. Yep. All right, so I'm pulling up the app on my phone right now. I mean, but yeah, this is this bracket. There's nothing uh, too special about it. No reseeding, all neutral site, Washington, D.C. Charleston's the one seed, Drexel's the two seed, Hofstra's the three seed, UNCW's the four seed. All of those teams technically have double buys. Um, and the play in game, the first four in the CAA is Will and Mary against NCA and T, and then Hampton against Elon. Um, and bet MGM is under maintenance. <laughs> so hold on. Dude, Towson could beat Wilmington too. Didn't they do that? I think they did that the last time they played. Yeah. So Towson's going to get A and T or William and Mary and win. Then that's a dangerous matchup for Wilmington. I don't know, man. I guess I'm going to go. I think that might even go chalk. I think Charleston might be. I don't know. I could see. I, I've been impressed with Drexel when I watch him this year. Maybe buy some of that. Northeastern's a dangerous 10 seed, though. I know Max, Max Ibon, his Northeastern squad. Oh, yeah. Um, and Bill and Mary. Watch out for them in the 13 no, hole. <laughs> no, no. They're fucking trash. Uh, <laughs> they're going to so, fucking beat the hell out of North Carolina A&T. You can they could that. win that. They could win that. So um, shout out to Bet MGM, to uh, Bet Rivers, and uh, Caesars. All fucking three of their apps are under maintenance. 317 a.m. But shout out to ESPN Bet. These are where these odds are getting pulled from. Charleston plus 200. Hofstra plus 280. UNC Ooh. Wilmington plus 350. Drexel plus 400. Towson 10 to 1. Delaware 14 to 1. Monmouth 33 to 1. Stony Brook 33 to 1. Northeastern 50 to 1. Campbell 300 to 1. Elon 500 to 1. Hampton 500 to 1. NCA and T five hundred to win one, and William and Mary five hundred and one. I I just give me uh the the Wilmington's value was second. You said Wilmington's plus three fifty. That's currently third on the odds board behind Charleston and Hofstra. I'll take Drexel's fourth. They're the two seed. Your odds are nice. Give me the give me the dragons. The Dragons take care of business. I like their path. Obviously, Northeastern is more is, is a scarier opponent to me than Stony Brook, so I'm hoping Stony Brook beats Northeastern. But after that, I think they can beat Hofstra. I even think Delaware could upset Hofstra. Um, and uh, the other side is pandemonium to me because Towson could beat Wilmington. Charleston could beat Wilmington. Wilmington could beat Charleston. Towson could beat Charleston. They, they all traded victories against one another. Correct. Yeah. Um, so I like the south side of this bracket. Mac, what are you doing here? Give me the team the year after the year they were hyped up. Give me Hofstra to get it done over Wilmington. I like Hofstra. They played well down the stretch. They, their only loss was against Charleston. Uh, they were the one seed last year, choked it away against Wilmington. They get the revenge against Wilmington. And I think Wilmington picks off Charleston in the semis in the CAA. So Hofstra over Wilmington in the final for me. I'm right there with Mac. I have Hofstra. And Speedy Claxton's bunch here. I'm avoiding that top half of the bracket, like Colby had uh, alluded to. Uh, you know, UNCW Charleston is going to be a great semifinal matchup, even if it even happens, because Monmouth is solid. Campbell had a little bit of a run in the middle of the year, and Towson's knocked off uh, Charleston so far this season. And Wilmington. Uh, yeah. And Wilmington. Um, so I I went with 
Hofstra because they are two and zero against Hampton, one and zero against Elon, and one and zero against Delaware so far this season. And my long shot, yes, I do have a long shot here that I feel pretty good about. Give me Stony Brook at thirty three to one. They're two and zero against Northeastern oh, so far this here. year. They're you just in a way to win the first game. Yeah. They're they're two and zero <laughs> against the Huskies so far this year, and the cocktail nap can see some value. It has them as a fifth ranked team here in the CAA, and they have the great draw on the right side of the bracket. I think they got a chance against the Dragons, and if I can get a Hofstra Stony Brook <laughs> semifinal matchup, that's the dream. Well, my, my, where's my this champion? game at? Let me lock up Northeastern. Right yeah, yeah. Saturday. <laughs> lock. First lock on Saturday, March 9th. Give me Northeastern again. <laughs> I, I, I think my championship game is Wilmington against Drexel. Wilmington against go. Drexel. Um, I have Hofstra, Charleston. Hofstra wins. All right. Do we got any more tipping off on Friday? Nope. Okay. That is, that is all of them.